holy crap, have you guys seen how many shoes that I got? I, I, got, a, I got a lot of shoes. And well, through all the shoes that I've collected throughout my lifetime, I've come to learn certain hacks that you can do to protect your shoes, to increase longevity, to make them look better, and to make them feel more comfortable. Today, I'm gonna show you 10 shoe hacks. You've probably never in your life have you heard of these shoe hacks. After I give you these shoe hacks, it's gonna be like a like a like an enlightenment period in your life where everything's just gonna come a blossom. Your eyes are gonna be open. Your life will be changed. Damn, that sounded like a cult. If you guys are interested, let's hop into it. Number one, use antibacterial wipes to clean your shoes. Now, if you get a fresh, clean white pair of kicks, which I have like 12 of them, I've come to realize that for them to look crispy, I need to be prepared. Having alcohol wipes with me at all times, if let's say on a first date or I had somewhere important to be that I wanted them to look good, I just pull one of those wipes out and quickly wipe down my shoe and the alcohol does a great job of removing all those surface level stains almost instantly. Number two, wash them in the washing machine. Now, you've probably heard of the hack of washing your shoes in a washing machine before. Now, this only usually works for canvas or some sort of cotton material shoe that you can actually wash in the washing machine. So a quick hack that you can do is while you should wash it the same way in the washing machine, when you throw it in the dryer, hang the shoes by the shoelaces. This way the heat from the dryer will dry the shoes, but the tumbling won't affect or deteriorate your sneaker. Number three, use coconut oil to nourish your leather shoes. Now, if you got leather white sneakers like I do, which is abundant, or dress shoes and loafers like I do, what you want to do is grab a little bit of coconut oil, you probably have some in your pantry, and lightly apply it on all your leather shoes. This is going to nourish the leather, hydrate it again, and give it that original luster that it once had when you got it fresh out of the shoe box. Number four, add candle wax to make your shoes waterproof. So, if you got canvas shoes like these, and you want to protect them against the weather, especially now that it's snow Going, you can make them waterproof using a candlestick. Grab a candlestick and rub it on the shoe as much as you can to rub some of that wax onto the shoe. Then grabbing a blow dryer, put it on high heat and blow dry the shoe with really high heat to kind of let that wax melt onto the canvas itself. Then just let them sit there and cool down. What's going to happen is that now you're going to have a waterproof shoe that it doesn't matter what elements you're in. Now here's the interesting thing with this sneaker. Now this one is from our sponsor Nothing New. But this sneaker in particular, on top of it looking super stylish, it's carbon neutral. Now what this means is that for every sneaker that I buy, I have about four pairs of these. 5.6 bottles of plastic are repurposed and over 160 gallons of water are saved, which is why I freaking love these shoes. I wish more people bought these shoes, honestly. There's statistics stating that in 30 years, there's gonna be more plastic in the ocean than animals in the ocean. That's as severe as, it, as it's getting, and brands like Nothing New are trying to change that. And they're doing so by recycling this material. So not only are they cleaning the ocean, they're repurposing it and putting it on our feet and making us look good with it. On top of that, they do not skimp on quality. As you can see, these sneakers in and of themselves, they look amazing. I've had them for about six months now, and they're still holding its paces. Now, the good thing with these sneakers in particular is that they're made with true stitch construction. With the true stitch construction that they have, they don't start falling apart from the heels like cheap sneakers do. And even when they do, for whatever reason, let's say they do, or after three, four, five years that you've just completely worn them out, you still don't even have to throw them away. What they're basically doing is that they're going to buy them back from you to ensure that their company stays carbon neutral. So instead of you just throwing the shoes away and adding to the problem, they'll buy them back from you, giving you a $20 credit that you can use on a new pair of sneakers. Then they'll grab those shoes, recycle them, make them new again and again, you got nothing new on your feet, which is genius. Now, if you guys want to check them out, nothing new is going to be linked down below. They also have high tops and low tops and multiple colorways and also sell for both men and women. If you guys want to check out nothing new, buy yourself a pair, buy yourself multiple pairs or buy some for your family. There's going to be a link down below. Go ahead and check them out. I promise you. They're gonna change your life. Number five, use baking soda and vinegar as a cleaning agent. Now, a lot of times you think that you have to go on Amazon and buy a $60 cleaning kit. Now, while those are amazing, you could go to your kitchen cabinet, grab some vinegar, grab some baking soda, and these two natural ingredients have tons of cleaning properties built in and of themselves, and when you mix them together, build a strong cleaning agent that you can use on your sneakers to remove a lot of the dirt and the grime, making them look 
almost brand new. Number six, use panty liner. To absorb the sweat, of course, and all the bad odor. And it starts emitting these putrid fumes, which is what you smell in your stinky shoe. Well, you can elongate the freshness of your shoes by using panty liners. Just think about it. I mean, if they can absorb a heavy flow, I'm sure they can handle your sweaty feet. Number seven, use sandpaper or slippery shoes. Now, if you've ever bought dress shoes, like real men's shoes, you'll know that a lot of them are built with leather soles and they can be very slippery which could be dangerous. Now an easy hack for this to combat this is to grab some sandpaper and sand the leather shoe itself to give it that effect of almost like as if you've been wearing them for years. This is gonna create traction and grip on your shoes to ensure that you don't slip and fall. Number eight, use tea bags on stinky shoes. Personally, I love green tea. Green tea is probably the best just because it leaves such a refreshing, clean smell in your closet and your shoes. But if you ever walk into your closet and it smells like crap, chances are it's your shoes that are the problem. Now to absorb and get rid of all that putrid smell, you can use tea bags. The tea will naturally absorb all that and when you throw them away or you, the next time you use the shoe, you're gonna notice they have a fresh green tea smell. Number nine, I call it the shoe tree rotation. Yes, shoe trees are crucial for shoes, but it doesn't mean you need one for every shoe. One to two pairs is most more than enough of shoe trees. And what you do is you rotate them. Ideally, every time you wear a pair of shoes, you're gonna wanna put a pair of shoe trees in there at least for 24 hours. This allows the shoe tree to absorb the moisture, the natural cedar will leave a refreshing smell, and the shoe tree itself will extend the shoe to its natural shape to try to remove some of the fine lines and wrinkles in your shoe. The next time you wear them, your shoes are fresh. Then you wear a new pair. When you wear those, you take them off and put the shoe trees again and let them sit for 24 hours. Again, you only need one pair and I call it the shoe tree rotation. Finally, number 10, when you travel, use your shoes as storage. A lot of times when you travel, you, you have to be efficient with space. You don't have a lot of it to weigh. So what you wanna do is inside your shoes, instead of just leaving them empty, you wanna stuff them with your underwear, with your accessories, with your watches, with your, with your sunglasses. These make great compartments for little things to keep them in one spot while also being efficient with your space so you can fit more. And that's basically it for this week's video, guys. Those are 10 shoe hacks you've probably never heard of that I know, I know, I know, I just, I just changed your life. And if I did, don't forget to drop us a like down below because, well, it helps us out. And don't forget to check out our sponsor, Nothing New. They're going to be linked down below as well. That's it for me today. See you next time.